Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BI. Uh, in this session, I am going to uh, tell you how to split a uh, file, okay, um, using copy activity. Normally, we would have seen how to uh, partition a file using data flow activity, but we have an option in copy activity that lets us split a file basically, okay. So, I have a CSV file um, which is having more than 5000 records and there is a requirement for me uh, to use lookup on this file okay so as we all know uh, lookup activity has a limitation of 5000 rows it can bring only uh, 5000 records <clears throat> so in in such scenarios um, if, if we can push the data to a table from there we can uh, use the offset uh, option uh, to extract data however we want okay also we can do order by we can do whatever we want from the table if at all we cannot move such records to a table but we only have to handle it in files in data like storage or block storage how do we uh, handle it okay there is a workaround for this what we can do is uh, we can use copy activity and we can split the file okay such that in such a way that uh, each file doesn't contain more than 5000 records okay uh, that way uh, we will be able to uh, split file one file into multiple files each not having more than 5000 records so that we will be able to loop through those files using lookup activity and for each loop and all however we want okay so <clears throat> what are the settings i have the source file which is data1.csv if you look at the data it is pretty uh, pretty much longer okay it, it's having around the 2 mb data which is around 11k records okay and i want to split this into multiple files um, each file not having more than 5k records so how do i do that in the sync you have an option to uh, mention something called max rows per file okay when writing data into a folder you can choose to write to multiple files and specify maximum rows per file okay so that is what i'm going to do now after i mention this what will happen is my 11k file would be split into three files okay uh, uh, two files with 5k each and one file with the rest of the records you know, right so i'm just running this so that in our output folder we'll be seeing three files so let me do a refresh i haven't mentioned any name for uh, um, the file so what it will do is my source file name is data hyphen one dot csv uh, how it has created three files is data hyphen one underscore zero 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 then then zero 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 one zero 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 two okay it has created its own uh, it has used its own naming convention all right but we will not mind about that we can loop through these uh, uh, files using a for each loop activity by using wildcard option and we can easily load this to uh, any table or any sync after looking up okay we can use lookup on these files and then we can do whatever we want so if you look at the data size it will be 5000 records including header it will be 5001 okay uh, in, in, if you ignore the header row it will just be 5000 records here similarly if i open the other <coughs> file it will also be 5000 records and each file will be having the header because in sync what i have done is we have chosen um, first row as header option in the data set if you see the sync data this is the sync data set if you see here first row as header is selected okay that's why we, we will be seeing header in each file that got generated so this file also will be having 5000 records and the third file will be having around 100 records maybe so if you look at that we can confirm it okay so this is how uh, okay thousand records so uh, this is how we split one file which is a uh, quite bigger file having more than 5000 records we will not be able to uh, take a count unless we copy the source file to a destination folder okay so that and all is not required if you follow this approach this would be much easier than all other uh, remediations that we might be having with respect to the uh, bigger files so let me know um, what is your thought on this and uh, i hope this helps okay so thanks a lot for watching keep supporting the channel thank you